Good morning. It is 7.05 a.m. And it's my birthday! <laughs> so I'm going to have breakfast with my family before my nephews head off to school. Morning, sleepyhead! It's my birthday today! Do you know what that means? Come on! to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday darling <laughs> thank you wow ah. notebook wow charlotte tilbury airbrush finish charlotte tilbury magic cream Okay, I have literally spent the entire morning of my birthday rearranging my studio, putting things away, making things nice and neat and tidy. You like my new decor? Hi! Anyway, I am so happy you guys. This is exactly how I wanted to spend my day organizing. It's just there was so much visual clutter and everything was such a mess and now i'm so happy because everything is like put away and i know exactly where everything is and i'm just so happy this is exactly what i needed today oh you might be curious as to what this is so let's open that up so this arrived this morning i haven't seen it yet Ha, so cute. Oh, look at this. Ah, happy birthday from Mino and the Sky Fam. Thank you, Sky Fam. Okay, I put away the cake. The reason why I'm dressed in the overalls that I made, by the way, so proud of myself. Anyway, the reason why I'm dressed like this today is I've decided for my birthday, I'm going to treat myself to a painting day. No pressure, just going to paint and have some fun. Hi guys, so I was editing this video and I realized I have about 40 minutes of me painting and attempting to arrange flowers, which as it turns out, I'm not very good at, but I thought that might be a little boring for you to watch. So I put out a post on my Insta stories asking you guys to send your questions so we could do a little birthday Q&A and you did not disappoint i got so many questions it was a little overwhelming to go through all of them to be honest let's start with the easiest ones a bunch of people asked how are you how's life how are you doing i'm doing really good thanks for asking then a bunch of people asked how old are you so by the time you are watching this video i will have turned 37 
someone asked, how does it feel adding plus one to your current age? It doesn't feel like anything, to be honest. I mean, you know, it's just another year and I don't really feel any major change. Life is as life was. What is your skincare routine? So I have a very basic skincare routine. I am currently using a uh, under eye cream with retinol. I'm using that at night. And for my moisturizer, I use the CeraVe. CeraVe, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it. Um, moisturizing cream. I prefer the cream to the lotion because I find the lotion too watery. Yeah, that's pretty much my entire skincare routine. I also use a uh, Differin 0 0.03, that's not right, 0.3% Differin, which was prescribed by my dermatologist, and that has been helping a lot with my acne. And of course, sunscreen, which brings me to my next question. Do you have a favorite sunblock? No, I don't have a favorite sunblock. I will literally use whatever sunblock my dermatologist gives me. You can sense a theme here when it comes to skincare. I go to one person who I trust implicitly and I do whatever she tells me to do. Do you eat balot? No, I don't. Sorry, no I don't. Do you have any phobias or fears? Yeah, I do. I have a fear of um, big crowds in tight spaces. How to invite you for art exhibits? To be honest, it's something that I want to work towards um, in my art journey, but I am aware that I'm not quite there yet. There's still a lot um, of learning and progression that I need to do. What is your passion? I don't know. Um, I've, I've spoken about this before on the channel. I think there's a video somewhere out there where I talk about how Elizabeth Gilbert was saying you should be following your curiosities and not your passions. I'm the type of person who likes to experience new things, likes to learn new skills and try, you know, different hobbies and things like that. So I don't really have one single passion, but following my curiosities has really been a great way for me to live my life. Current read, any pre-loved books for sale? I am currently reading The Cat Who Saved Seven Books by Suzuki Natsukawa. I'm really enjoying it. It's a very easy, light read, uh, fantasy book. Any pre-loved books for sale? Yes, if you are in the Cebu City area, there's a bunch of pre-loved books for sale in my box at Unbox Cebu in Central Block. Please drop by and check them out. What was your course in college? So I graduated from the University of Asia in the Pacific and my course was Integrated Marketing Communications. Something you want to experience this year. After experiencing the Choi Mino fan meet, I most definitely want to see Shiny live in concert this year. That is like my bucket list item for 2023. Who is your fave author? George Orwell is my favorite author. My favorite book is 1984. He has a way of writing that nothing is wasted. Every single piece of information he gives you is relevant later on down the line. Everything you are reading will lead to something else, even if it seems so like, like, a, like such a throwaway comment, but then later on it comes back and it's actually a really important detail. And I really enjoy that about his book. Favorite country that you visited? When I went to Portugal with my sister, even though it was just for literally two days, it was amazing. The country was beautiful. The food was amazing. The people were so sweet. It was definitely like one of my favorite places that I have ever been. Do you bake? Yes, I love baking. I love baking so much. I find it so relaxing. Most unforgettable experience this year. It is only February, so there hasn't been a lot of the year to pull from, but I think it's safe to say that my most unforgettable experience so far has been seeing Shiny Minho live and in person in Manila. <laughs> favorite sibling? Uh, that's a weird question. Okay, I don't have a favorite sibling. I feel like I have a very special relationship with each and every one of my siblings. That's why we're so close. Do you prefer to eat home-cooked meals or eat out at restaurants? On the daily, of, I prefer to eat home-cooked meals just because my mom is an amazing chef and 
anything that she makes is actually quite comforting to me. So I really do prefer home cooked meals. Oh wait. Okay. Come in. Happy birthday! Mom. Happy birthday for you. To that. On your dedication, ha. Birthday flowers. Thank you. So nice. What's a new tulip? I don't know. How nice. So pretty. Thank you. Look. Wow. You have a cake also. Well, yeah, I saw that. I showed you. You showed that. I'm gonna tell you what That's happened. That's from show So these arrived, <laughs> and nobody was home but me. So I accepted them, <laughs> and there was no dedication yet. And then my mom arrived, and she's like, "That's from me. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna go out and open the door." <laughs> so thank you, mom, for my birthday flowers. Oh. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that you were talking to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so excited to see you. <laughs> He'll just follow you. I miss your deepas. Wow, thank you. I mean, it's not cake, it's a surprise. Thank you. Come in. That is not a cake. Gee, I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. This is from your friends of your. <laughs> yeah, ningo na kung nephews. How come they don't? How come he doesn't attack you guys? How would he attacks everyone else? We smell too the same. <laughs> We're always together. Hello, I want to see you guys. Sweet. Oh, okay. so cute! Yay, Dude. Happy birthday. I saw Chris got you a cake. So we leave me no cakes. But it's the menu. So cute! It's Chase era Minho. Oh. Because of course. It's, because it's a choice day. It's okay, a choice day. let's have <laughs> nah. <laughs> let's have it's this so now, cute. though. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is from me and Celine. Oh, I want to. I draw on cake. I have a feeling I know this is. <laughs> I have a prediction. <laughs> That's another gift. Oh no, I think it's wait, so wait, much wait, 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 wait. What is it? Oh! Cute! It's thank a, you! A pearl aqua. A pearl aqua. Wow, it's so pearl aqua. I thought it would be a light stick. <laughs> oh my god, what if they got me a light stick? No, 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 but, but, I, but I prefer the I prefer the tumbler thing. <laughs> no, I love it. Wait, why is my birthday this year all shiny stuff? <laughs> you go to one. Oh, wait, I'll put this here because the camera will focus on. <laughs> Thank you, I love it. No, I like this way more than I like this because I can actually use it. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad because we're all gonna get this. What's this? What's this? It's Boxy Oh, Halaka cool! Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've never seen like this before. I got I I have I got one for myself also, not a cabo print. It's good because it's five meters and I, I used it with Lina. It was nice. a good material on the one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 so Dario Oh, Mom, boxing to onya. <laughs> 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 So cute! Thank you, Hannah. Oh, these are so cool. Thank you. Choice day. Choice day. Oh my god, you got this. <laughs> no, okay, Kundi. I can't cut his head. Yo, here, Sal, you can have a piece of his barong. <laughs> and his legs. <laughs> I know, it's not that good. Do you think Siminho is a big one? No, it's so big. 
Okay, oh, okay, oh. okay, 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 Expectations for this year? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I definitely expect to travel more this year. My goal for this year is to be more open to new experiences, to have more adventures. I really want to live my life to the fullest this year. How to not get fat like you? I don't like, I, sorry, don't, don't call yourself fat. Please, saying negative things like that about yourself, about your body is not gonna help you, you know, appreciate it and be happier in the long run. Also, my frame has been quite small ever since. So it's kind of like, don't don't compare yourself to me because, you know, although I do try to eat healthy and take care of myself, let's not forget that I started off at a place that was like smaller to begin with. So don't you feel pressured oh, no. that Chris is already <laughs> married with two kids? No, of course not. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's such a that's such a weird mentality to have. Like, why would I feel pressured about somebody else living their life when I'm just living my life? Be grateful for what you have in your life and realize that your path might be different from the people's around you. So it's more important to focus on yourself and the things that you have to be thankful for than to compare yourself to somebody else favorite memory with Chris. So my favorite memory with my sisters, both of them, was um, one time we were traveling in Victoria, BC, and we got caught in the rain. Uh, we only had a day in this place, so we wanted to visit this botanical garden that's supposed to be like, you know, award-winning, one of the most beautiful gardens in the world. So we went there, but it was pouring rain and we were not ready we had like one umbrella we didn't have any raincoats <laughs> we walked around a completely empty botanical garden in the rain sopping wet it, we looked so ridiculous like by the end of the day we looked like drowned rats but that's like one of my favorite memories because the whole time we were just laughing at ourselves and at everything that was happening it was it was so much fun it was such a good day is there something that you know now that you wish you had known when you were younger? I wish that I had known not to hold on too tightly with the expectations that you have for yourself and for your life. Not to be on such a straight and narrow path that you miss the opportunities and the surprises that might come along and that might be better for you in the long run. Oh, my office just sent over some flowers to my office staff. Thank you guys, this is so sweet. So many flowers, I love it, thank you. Advice for teens, advice for people who always want validation from someone. Don't compare yourself to other people. You do not know what that person is going through. You do not know the struggles in their life. You do not know what the reality of their situation is you only know the reality of your situation and what is good for you and what you need to be doing so don't focus so much on what other people think what other people are doing but instead focus on yourself your own growth and your own journey in this world best advice to a student who has failed but she was an academic achiever oh that's tough my advice for you is do not base your identity on these external metrics that is not who you are that is just a part of who you are it's not the entirety of you and as much as this sucks right now you will get older and i promise you it's not gonna matter as much in the future realizations that made sense at your age now everyone is complicated <laughs> wow groundbreaking but yeah it's like it, you know how we tend to have a single story about this person like that person is um, my math teacher 
and that's all you see that person as who they are in relation to you in your life but that's not all that that person is like your math teacher could also be a passionate salsa dancer and goes out twice a week to salsa clubs and does salsa dancing i don't know why i'm sticking with this salsa analogy but you know what i mean like each person is complex like you are not just one thing therefore everyone else is not just one thing as well and now a surprising third category all things shiny <laughs> wow i did not expect so many of you to be shawls and to be so curious about this since when have you been a fan of minnows? How many years have you been a fan of minnows? How long have you been a flamer? <laughs> I know exactly when I became a fan of minnows because I <laughs> put it in my journal. It happened on August 25, 2021. That's right. I am a baby wall. How do you feel when you saw minnow? Uh, I felt so happy. I made a vlog about it. Please check it out. It was so much fun. Who is your bias wrecker? Who is your shiny bias wrecker? Minho is my ultimate bias. My bias wrecker is Lee Jing Ki. I think Onyu has the voice of an angel. What is your favorite shiny song? I love that question. There is just so much. Like my favorite song that every time I hear it, it, it makes me feel emotional is encore i think if i see them perform encore live i will cry 100 percent okay. sure now i'm gonna take the bits that were left over and try to like spread them out among the bouquets all right i think i'm done i did not do a very good job of, of spacing these i'm not very good at arranging flowers as a Shawol, we all know that Jong Hyun died because of depression. What's your take on depression? Yeah, it's it's so sad how that happened and it just it just goes back to my point about how you really don't know what other people are going through in their lives and what's going on behind the scenes, especially in this like social media age where everyone just puts their best foot forward. You don't know that another person might be struggling with something behind the scenes. So definitely treat other people with kindness because you just, you don't know another person's story. I feel like your mind can lie to you sometimes and make you feel like you're all alone in this world when that is not the truth. When the truth is there are people around you who love you, who if they knew you were going through this, they would want to help you and as difficult as it is to be vulnerable it's so worth it in the end like it's so worth it to just open up to another person and say i am having a really hard time please help me that's literally all you ever need to say Whew, i do not want to end this on a sad note all right let's move on to our last question what are your other k-pop idols are you also a fan of bts yeah you guys if you have been watching my channel for a while you will know that i am also army um other k-pop groups i like i've watched txt in concert i am not moa but i really appreciate them like i had so much fun at that concert it was a blast i don't know i'd love to hear your recommendations leave me a comment on other bands i should be checking out not just k-pop bands like any bands in general that i should be checking out please leave me a recommendation down below i would love that i'd love to know what you guys are listening to so this is where i got up to today and tomorrow i'm gonna be adding all the details i had fun um you can tell it's been a while since i last painted because i feel like my colors are all over the place but this was supposed to be just a really fun no thinking brain dump painting session so i'm happy with how this spread is going and i want to see how far i can take it tomorrow in my world i don't worry darling just smile award for funniest aunt happy birthday thank you thank you katie i want a special award on my birthday Ooh. so cute i don't have to like matchy but it was cute. 
leave me here all alone I'll be waiting we can make it because I know that after all this time you'll read between these lines feeling fine cause you said this is all you want no more playing 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 on this waiting 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 I call you mine I know you feel the same as I do no more playing wishing waiting I was taking 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 Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, stupefied What was it that I said? Probably something foolish that didn't make much sense but you, know, you guys are weird Is Dito's head? Ah, off with her head Oh no, it's Hewitt Oh, it's so Hewitt It's so very Hewitt It's chocolate Dude, the, it's just the necklace. Uh, She's not dead, man. I'm still alive. <laughs> you can't put an end date. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate. Who wants the head? Well, that's only part of the I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you so much to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Thank you for all your lovely greetings. I really tried to reply to every single one of you. I see you, I really appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Bye!